Welcome to another Log Talk with Dave, coming to you from the British Columbia School of Log Building. This is our short video series where we talk about log house building tips, tools, techniques, everything log cabin. Today in this video we want to talk about a log house building term that deals with uh, dovetail style construction and that term is notch drop. Now notch drop in its uh, simplest explanation is the amount that the tail slopes and drops away to the exterior as it crosses the width of the log. So another way to look at that is the amount that the notch drops from level as it crosses the width of the log. So of course that's going to vary depending on how wide of logs you're using. On this 28 by 28 cabin that we're currently working on, uh, we're using eight inch thick by random size logs, all Douglas fir. Now when we're determining the amount of notch drop that we want to use, we want to have enough of a slope that uh, we create a locking fit when the next log goes on so that it has enough uh, angle to lock in. But we don't want to be too steep because we don't want this short grain here, this corner that's left, left uh, on the high side, if it's too steep, then that becomes a fragile corner. So we're kind of balancing those two between enough to lock, but enough to remain sturdy in the corner. The basic answer to the question, what notch drop do we use, is a 15 degree slope. Now, we don't actually calculate 15 degrees every time. We've broken it down into a set amount for each different width of log that we use. So for example, this is an eight inch thick log. So over the eight inch run, we have a two and a quarter inch notch drop. For a six inch, we have a one and three quarters, 10 inch, two and three quarters, and so on. So if we go and take a look at, we've got the log that's scribed and ready to be cut that will fit onto this um, corner. We can see how the, the notch drop on the next log correlates to the receiver notch drop. So this is our next log that is going to fit on the receivers on the wall. We've uh, scribed it, as you can see. We've taken it down, flipped it over, and now it's ready to cut. So I just wanted to point out the fact that uh, this is our eight inch width here. And if we go across and drop down, we've got that same uh, two and a quarter inch notch drop. However, it's running with the length of the log instead of across the end grain of the receiver. And that's how the system works. Uh, always one's perpendicular to the other, and that's what forms the interlocking corners on the dovetail building. So I'm gonna cut this one. I'll just give you a real speed demo, and we can see how it fits.
that was our quick look at the notch drop and how the system works between the receiver face and the connector face. If you want to learn more about notch drop and all the other details that go into a log shell like this, we have a very in-depth online program that we offer for dovetail construction. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy these log talks with Dave, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hope the sun's shining where you are. Have a great day.